Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk about a term that I've used quite commonly since getting both of my stimulators, and it's the pain gap, which is essentially the percentage of pain that you still experience after having your stimulators programmed for a period of time. So when I got my first stimulator, after lots of programming, we realized that CRPS in my one limb was not being addressed. And so one way to fill the gap, which was extreme, but that others do as well, is to have a second stimulator implanted. People fill gaps with small procedures like injections. Others, like myself, use prescription and over-the-counter medications. Some people swear by supplements, activity and hobbies and different things to distract you can also be great. I know one of my favorites is puppies, like my Krieger boy, who next to my stimulators and my pain medication is the best pain relief there is when it comes to a flare. And I think it's also important to remember that your gap can widen or become smaller depending on a lot of factors that are out of your control, whether it be the weather, whether it be just your simulator malfunctioning. Unfortunately, there's never a guaranteed day that you know that everything is gonna go right. And finally, I think this is a big one. You gotta fill the rest with contentment and gratitude being thankful for the pain relief you have. So I love you guys. I hope you're doing well, and I'll talk to you soon.